The Fork in the Tree on Mount Calvary. This traditional Catholic mystical theology of labor and delivery lesson for every soul begins with a very beautiful story following an entire night and Tuesday of reparative atonement morning nailed to a door in union with Christ inside a confessional in suburban Detroit. Imagine. The incredible story that begins this lesson took place at the Slovak parish in suburban Detroit, where I Am had reintroduced his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in the year 2012 for the sake of a world in very serious trouble. This student teacher had just walked through the door on a Saturday evening to participate in the once-a-week celebration of the traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass in late 2016. Keep in mind that in October of that same year, our Lord personally removed the fourth nail that had been used at that parish by the modernists to crucify him to the cross on Mount Calvary at his altar right through his holy face. Almighty God had asked that his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus be established there, but it wasn't. In the middle of the vestibule was the customary table where one or two kind men would stand and hand out the booklets so people could follow along in both Latin and in English. While exchanging greetings with the good man who was helping out that day, as he extended his arm to hand you the booklet, and as you extended yours to so gladly accept it, he shared with you some breaking news that, unknown to him, involves every single person on earth. The man asked you if you heard that the pastor was leaving. You had not, and it was no mere coincidence that this information came prior to the celebration of the traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, which that very pastor had reintroduced to the parish once a week, shortly before I am summoned your family to go there around the year 2010. It was there that you and your family encountered it for the very first time. You had never even heard of it, nor had you ever seen it. Imagine. Your children had attended Catholic school. Imagine that one. Unfortunately, it was a modernist, desecrated Catholic school, and that makes all the difference between two very different Catholic worlds, oftentimes right under one roof. The world that serves God alone, and the world that serves Lucifer, so many unaware of it because they are being taught covertly, incorrectly, right out in the open. That was your first thought. I wonder what is next. Because at that point, nothing came as a big surprise, as the great seven-year war for souls there was drawing to a very dramatic conclusion. The bishop meant to oversee the reintroduction of the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in our time from here in Catholic Detroit for the sake of the whole world, was sent to Guam. That is what the pastor announced one day, and it was then that the coming domino effect could be seen on the horizon by the few who were paying attention to what really matters. No man can sail a ship by himself. The student teacher was not happy with the prospect of a pastor lacking proper traditional Catholic oversight being disciplined for what was the brutal destruction of the once traditional leaning Catholic parish by the self-interested modernist serving Lucifer, who worked in concert to cause repeated scandal while demanding everyone give them their money as they took their pictures and posted them on social media, on the black mirror, while terrorizing good people right inside of God's house. Selecting an improperly trained crew of one's like-minded choosing will lead to eventual disaster, and that's what happened at that Catholic parish. That is what Lucifer's modernism offers to Christ's captains of his ships, imminent disaster. The Father of Lies outfits the traditional Catholic fishing vessel as a cruise ship. All aboard. The modernist desecrated Catholic Navy is unfathomably corrupted and polluted as they sail on an ocean of God's mercy. 
This student teacher was very glad that Almighty God was getting this pastor with a vital apostolic mission for the sake of the whole world in our time, out of there, and hopefully to safety. This shepherd, who Christ's traditional Catholics once were so fond of, and who was trying very hard to hold things together while serving two different masters on a sinking ship while hoping to preserve it, as Christ's remnant evacuated after spotting the exit signs, while the happy-go-lucky remained and took selfies as the portal to hell on the ship got ever wider while the ship sank. Almighty God promised to break Lucifer's back here in Detroit, and then he did, for the sake of the whole world in our time. And he did it through the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. I am, for a while, allowed the self-interested at that Slovak parish to have their way in imitation of and in union with Lucifer at everyone else's expense, particularly Christ's in his own house, to show us that the ways of anyone else other than God do not work, because he alone is I am. Then he offered up Christ once again, along with his traditional Catholic remnant there, to be martyred, and in this manner, the modernist monster will eventually be defeated worldwide on Mount Calvary, God's way, which is always the right way. When the pastor was removed, this student teacher knew that God's excellent plan was entering into an important new phase. And then when the pastor threw the student teacher out forever, with the help of the police, just days before the Feast of Divine Mercy 2017, and just days before his enforced departure, it was very clear that great good was coming as history repeated himself. You had no idea what was next until I am revealed the location of the traditional Catholic Church that had been recently manifested in your dreams, and he said that he was going to allow you to go there. So people told you, of course, not to go there. Almighty God first had you wait, and you kept asking before the three-in-one devotion to the holy face of Jesus, Can I go now? And then, on the 22nd of June, 2017, he finally said yes, and the next morning, that's where this student teacher went. It was love at first sight, and not just for me, but for I Am's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. I was so happy to have arrived at this traditional Catholic Church, where God alone is worshipped, served, and adored, that I cried. St. Joseph led Almighty God's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus to St. Joseph's SSPX Traditional Catholic Church in suburban Detroit, where there are traditional Catholic priests with proper oversight who are leading properly where there is never any modernist nonsense, where Christ and his people are welcome, not lies, where people are valued and not for their money, where everyone is taught correctly, where God alone is worshipped, served, and adored, where it is always so very beautiful, 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 where everyone always dresses modestly, where the people are truly happy, and where extraordinary things happen each and every day, in addition to all the extraordinary that takes place there already. Imagine. Then Almighty God wed his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, to Christ's welcoming SSPX. Then he established it inside every SSPX traditional Catholic church and school worldwide. Then he privately consecrated the whole world to the holy face of Jesus. Each time, the holy innocents of Detroit celebrated. But first, Lucifer pushed this student teacher down the stairs, and the modernist desecrated leadership here in Detroit, working for the devil, publicly humiliated the Slovak pastor after he was finally removed. What took them so long? Right in front of his parish family, just imagine including those who were serving God alone and those who had been serving Lucifer, of whom there were many. Why go to the Satanic Temple when the traditional Catholics are so much more interesting? All this took place right on Mount Calvary 
inside of God's house and right in front of God as if he wasn't watching. Detroit's modernist desecrated professed Catholic leadership left everyone traumatically wounded. What wonders, after having annually forced massive amounts of money from God's people in his most holy name while promoting false teaching and not just neglecting, but brutally suppressing God's truth and revealing who their master is, as if Christ's remnant didn't already know. Truly, the love for money is the root of all evil. Is the Catholic leadership here in Detroit guilty of neglecting the welfare of an entire parish? Did they cause scandal in yet another manner? And or did they lie about one of Christ's Catholic priests, the priest chosen by Almighty God for a vital apostolic mission in our time? Why was there such deafening silence from the self-proclaimed Catholic media here in Detroit? Who is your master? The hope is for mass conversions because mass conversions are needed here in Catholic Detroit where holy leadership is and has been severely persecuted. And that is why Almighty God's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus is of utmost importance. Only God can stop this. My children, all we are is what we are in the eyes of God, and nothing more. St. John Vianney Almighty God's many treasonous priest search and rescue operations through the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. What happened so far here in Catholic Detroit in modern times is not only of great historical consequence for the sake of the whole world in our time, it is also a metaphor. Many of God's people have fought very nobly and for a very long time, almighty God's way, which is always the right way, against the modernist beast, the sole assassin, and for decades worldwide. Yes, I am prepared to be martyred for serving God and for proclaiming his truth. No, I do not have a death wish, nor am I sad, despondent, or suicidal. I have never been happier, and this last year has been the happiest of my entire life. Finally, home inside Christ's traditional Catholic Church. I ask please for an SSPX traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated in Latin at St. Joseph's, should Almighty God allow his enemies within to silence his teacher in the natural. As in all things, may God's will be done. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christ's Catholic Church. All of the multimedia material produced by Joseph Carl Publishing during its nine-year mission here in Catholic Detroit now belongs to Christ's Society of St. Pius X. Tuesday, June 19th, 2018. The entire night and morning are spent unified as one with Christ on Mount Calvary, and the reparative atonement for Christ's sacred priesthood is severe, but very peaceful at the core, as I am is given everything he asks for inside his merry little monastery, where an important battle between Almighty God and Lucifer, the fallen angel of light, is ongoing here in suburban Detroit. You are impaled as one with Christ upon a very important door, and it is the inside of a door on Mount Calvary that faces the inside of a traditional Catholic confessional. After a time of peace and quiet, while adoring God before the smaller second devotion to the holy face of Jesus on the second floor, I am allows you to get up and get going and then reveals that the modernist desecrated branch of the Catholic Church tree in our time has split into two, and now there is a fork in it. This fork is right behind the Slovak pastor, who is in first place before a very important door that leads the world back to Christ's traditional Catholic high altar, where Christ's SSPX is properly leading in persona Christi. Standing first in line at this fork in the road is a man named Joseph. Imagine. There is a very significant one-year anniversary coming within days. Thanks be to our triune God for everything, 
do whatever he tells you. John chapter 2, verse 5. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, visit www.theworkofreparationtotheholyfaceofjesus.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it. <laughs>